this is a video tutorial on how to customize XP I finally got my XP working because I had um, crappy Vista on my computer for ages I finally got it back and uh, all I needed to do was find a recovery disk one a box anyway um, you might have seen my video before um, on how to make your PC look like a Mac with this cool dock and now you can actually add, add special icons for your apps like I've done with GTA okay um, sometimes I don't always save though I customize Manhunt but that's still very blurry and got the same image but um, still you can create your own icons for apps now. I've got QFTP Professional here and I'm going to show you with that. Okay, so here's what you do with Object Dock you go into a blank space, right click, click Add, then go over to the top where it should say New Shortcut. Here you can just type in the name QFTP, but it usually um, gives that the deep name anyway double click on the app on the desktop just click open and as you can see the names change to QFTP professional now down here where you see the picture of the image you just click change image and browse for an image and then um, choose your image so I've got it here somewhere I'm gonna use the um, iPhone picture and click open so there's that little picture, that QFTP Pro picture has changed into that. So now if I click OK, it will create a new icon down here, QFTP Professional, and drag that anywhere I want that dock. Okay, uh, I'll just keep it at the end. Okay. So every time I click on that, I've just got a cool icon. But I, however, if I click on it, it still loads up QFTP Professional. Error report looks like. Anyway. Here it is, loads up final. Anyway, um, that's all it does, it changes the icon. I use this for sharing over my iPod Touch, so that's why I put it there. So let's just drag that back. So that's how to customize a dock. But how do you actually customize your whole XP? Well, here's what you do if you go on um, your internet browser and uh, you simply type in a little program called Style XP. Okay, so. Style XP, okay, and click on the TGT Soft Style XP. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's uh, I've got Touch Guru. And um, then you want to download the free trial. And um, then you want to just download the full install Style XP from then. You only get a five day trial, but. Um, Whatever theme you do, I think it stays on there. And if you no notice, I've got this little bar here, like the Vista. And for that, I used a little program called um, Vista Drive Icon. Okay, so you can just search that on Google as well. So once you've installed the um, program, you go into this TGT Soft Style XP and then this should be style xp if it don't work then you have to get this uh, dll file um, it will tell you if you double click on the convert because then it will say some kind of msvcr 71 dll is missing so once you've got that double click style xp and it should work you want to click enable style xp and now you can customize your xp now a little theme i like um, a theme called Zune theme, okay. <laughs> so Zune style for style XP. That's what I typed in in Google, and then um, you get this little cool theme. I'm going to show you it now, see what it's like. Once you've got that theme, you want to uh, install it, and then you customize. So I'm going to have the left blue icons, as you can see here. And all you do is apply. Okay. Themes. I'm going to choose a zoom theme and it gives you a little preview here. Apply theme. Now, this might take a while, so 
just gotta wait. Okay, so that and that, and as you can see here, I've got the little orange star icon and it's a black a bar. Background's a little crap, but you can do that. And I'm gonna have a mix of sort of the Zune style theme and the uh, panther or the uh, leopard in this case so on the log on screen you can change the log on screen this is my log on screen okay. um, and I'm gonna set the icons to XIP candy if I apply those icons these icons here the default icons for XP should change into sort of Mac icons as you can see here okay so um, boot screens, you can change the boot screen as a yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean one though um, and the Code 7 one looks a little gay but the normal ones are best really transparency, that's just if you want to make your taskbar transparent it rotate, rotates your background and stuff cursor, I'm going to change my normal cursor to uh, the Windows Black Cursors. Okay, so I and as you can see now, my cursor is black. Screen savers will um, leave the screen saver as XP Media Center. Okay, apply screen saver, and then once you've got everything, you um, just simply exit, and you've got that theme. Once you've applied everything, now. Um, I'm going to change the background because I said I didn't like it much so I'm going to go ahead and change this into leopard theme so set a desktop background and here you have it customize XP Mac icons, cool little bar cool little taskbar orange start um, box all these icons and now you can have your own custom icons for each individual um, application. So, uh, for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and tune in. If you're wondering how I screen captured this video, I use a little neat little program called Cam Studio because people ask me that a lot. What do I use to capture it? So, I uh, use Cam Studio. So that's how I do it. Thanks for watching.